the desulfator for a few minutes and just show you another few successes. Over here I got the uh, original two batteries I was showing with my original desulfator videos and about three and a half months ago I got two more of those same batteries right over here and uh, yeah they were pretty dead so they, I just turned off the um, desulfators about a few minutes ago removed them from the wall outlet and first we're going to check them out make sure they're good now first of course is just do a quick voltage check on both of them and then we're actually going to open them up and I'm going to show you how to use a specific gravity meter now this is a very good indicator of how well your battery is desulfated and how what the condition is inside of each cell. Basically a specific gravity of 1.0 which will be all the way down here at the bottom which says recharge basically means there is no sulfuric acid in the electrolyte at all. It's just all water. All of the um, <clears throat> sulfuric acid is basically lead sulfate sitting on the plates. On the flip side though, since they've been dis uh, desulfating for three months, they should actually have the correct mixture now, which is in a regular battery, in a star car starting battery, it's like 1.285. These batteries, since they're marine grade, actually have a little more sulfuric uh, acid into them, so they're actually going to run more like 1.3. They're uh, a little more of a robust battery, and they're also deep cycle as well, as opposed to a starting battery so that's also why there's a little more sulfuric acid so when I test each cell on these batteries for you in a minute we should be reading instead of in between the good we should be reading up actually right about the top right around 1.3 and that will mean that we have a very good uh, cell it's been properly desulfated and these batteries will give me many years worth of good use so let me move the camera up more we'll check the voltage on each battery real quick and then we'll check the specific gravity. Another way to also check to would be do a low test, but I don't have a low tester here. I have to take them to work and I can't bring my camera and everything, but these are two simple tests you can do at home to gauge the condition of your battery. Okay, the first things first, how about we get the desulfators off of them? Multimeter is right on over here. Let me turn on the light just so it might help the camera a little bit better. And there we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. So let's check the first battery. Okay, they're really charged. There might be a little bit of residual power in this since it's reading 13.08. A regular lead acid battery, a full charge is 12.8. So these are really good right now. And the second battery. About the same, 1310. So voltage wise, they look really good. Now to check the um, specific gravity of the batteries, easiest way just make sure all the tops are clean first. Because when you take them off and unscrew them, or if you have pop tops, you don't want any dirt or any debris going inside the battery. I've already basically cleaned these off, so just gonna put them to the side, all six of them. You also want to check while you're uh, doing your specific gravity checks, make sure there's enough water and refer to the uh, user manual or documentation for each battery to see where the correct water level is. And I can see the water level is at the correct level in these batteries. So what you end up doing is you grab this, pre-squeeze before you get it in there so you don't blow bubbles into the battery and end up accidentally splashing sulfuric acid back onto you. Because this is a desulfate a battery now, the uh, sulfuric acid should actually be fairly concentrated in the electrolyte. You don't want to give yourself a sulfuric burn, acid burn. So squeeze it down, stick it in there, just until it touches the plates. Don't force it on the plates, just nice lightly. And let the ball come on out. You'll see it fill up. Give it a quick little tap. And you can see we went up right, all, right up to 1.3. So this is a good cell. Squeeze it out, gently, 
keep it squeezed, let's go to the next cell. You gotta make sure you get the water all the way up so this way you get a good flow. Give it a few flicks just to make sure there's no air bubble sticking on the float itself. And this one's reading like 1.31. It's a really good cell. Third cell. This one's also reading like 1.31. Give it a good flick, get the air bubbles off. Again, this one's actually reading almost like, I always think almost like 1.32. Fifth cell. There we go, my float was stuck. 1.31. And 1.31 again. This battery, for all intents and purposes, is almost brand new now. It is ready for service. It will give me plenty of years worth of good life. So now you recap the battery. Make sure you don't get any debris, dirt, dust inside the batteries. I could repeat it for, I will repeat it for another one, but I won't do it on camera. I'm bored there, loving the heck out of you. When you're done with your unit, just take it into a faucet and fill it with water a few times and really flush it out and get it all out of there. This way you can safely store this without having sulfuric acid drips anywhere. Because right now, it's wet on the tip. And that is concentrated sulfuric acid. You do not want that on you. Um, if you're really messing with a lot of batteries, you should have a little bit of baking soda around. If you get it on your hands or on the carpet, it will neutralize the acid like that and it will keep you from getting a burn or for burning carpet. Uh, especially since I'm living in a townhouse, I don't exactly have a garage to uh, or an open vented area. So you have to be a little more careful. Just use some common sense and you'll be safe. You're not going to blow yourself up like some people think you will. So that's how you check a freshly desulfated battery to make sure it's good. And yes, I'm bending down for the camera. So, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, and I'll get right back to you. Thanks.